thatlady.com and I have a few tips for you to decrease the money that you're spending during the holidays. Step number one or tip number one is to buy a turkey on clearance right after Thanksgiving and use that to serve your Christmas dinner. You can stick it in a deep freezer if you have one or you can buy um, a small one and keep it in your freezer and then serve that for a Christmas dinner or do a non-traditional Christmas dinner. We always do chicken parmesan with our family because we have so many nieces and nephews and it just makes it a lot cheaper for us. Another tip that I have is instead of exchanging gifts with your friends, do a white elephant gift exchange. So for instance, instead of buying something, you go around your house and you wrap something up that you normally use, like a calculator or um, a package of staples, things like that. Um, you can pick funny things, you can pick um, practical things, but you really just want to make it fun. So everybody goes around their house and they pick the thing out and then they wrap it and then you each get to pick a present. And it's just a really fun way that you are um, enjoying the holiday together instead of uh, spending money on each other. Another tip that we have is to draw names out of a hat. So during Christmas, um, I have so many family members, it's impossible for me to actually buy for everybody. So we put all of those names in a hat and we pick out one name and that's who we buy for that year. And we usually have a limit of between $30 and $40 is what we're supposed to spend on that person. And that way everybody gets a nice gift and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Another thing that we're trying this year is because I do have 12 nieces and nephews under the age of six. I know that's a lot. Um, what we're doing is everybody's going to get like a nice big present and then everybody, like I'm going to buy one big present for one of my nieces and nephews and then everybody else is going to get stocking stuffers. So that way everybody gets a nice big present but then the kids all get all these like fun little presents that they can open up. So I hope that that um, helps you learn how to save during the holiday season because I know that it can be really stressful on your budget. So hopefully by following these tips you can keep some more money in your wallet. Have a good night.